Hey y'all, it's Robert with Shade Tree Films and we're here in the Banff National Park in the Canadian Rockies. And as you'll see in some of our time lapses, uh, it doesn't suck, it's pretty rad here. So we wanna to talk to you real quick about time lapses. So just like any other storytelling tool like Steadicams or Dollies, uh, it can be really overused. However, when used properly, they can really add a lot of value to your film. So the story we're trying to tell here spans multiple days, and so we really want to portray that to our audience. And time lapses are a great way to do that, to show movement in time. But also, there's really no other way to really show off the beauty and the grandeur of this place. So the first quick tip we want to give is to pay attention to your environment. For instance, like if you've got some bushes in the foreground and they're just going crazy, that's really probably going to distract your viewer. And check the clouds out. If they're just booking across the sky, you want to set a pretty fast interval so you don't get really choppy movement on the time lapse. But if you can barely see them moving, you may want to stretch that out some. All right, so the next quick tip that we want to give you is about choosing your composition. So there's an infinite amount of choices, especially in a place like this. So what we want to encourage you to do is just try out a few things. If you've got a few cameras, then run a few at the same time. Different focal lengths, different uh, apertures, um, just test it out. But if that's not an option, another thing you can do is pick the star of your story. So maybe that's the clouds moving, so you're showing weather change, and wrap that composition around that. The last tip we want to give about time lapses is to add some movement. We rented some gear from Lens Pro to go, like the Kessler Stealth, the Oracle Controller, and having this gear was crucial to getting the shots that we need to really tell the story. One word of advice we have for renting gear is to get it a few days early. Make sure everything's working, you got all the parts and everything, and then play with it, test it before you get out in the field. So there's a lot of different equipment that can go into time lapses and it can get really expensive, but don't let that stop you from really utilizing the storytelling tool. For us, it was about Lens Pro to go. We rented a lot of stuff. You can do the same. They, they have everything you need. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the few quick tips. Just be sure to hit up Lens Pro to go whenever you need something.